Welcome to this new Flight Simulator update movie. In this movie, we're gonna look at the latest release notes of the Boeing 747-8 India. Uh, this is the uh, one created by Salty Simulations. Uh, it took them a while to release a new version because you can see that the last update prior to this new one was on the 26th of uh, April, 2022. And now we're at the 20th of April, 2023. And now they uh, launched a bigger update. So what they did is they did rewrite uh, the PFD to match almost all uh, real-world functionality. They improved the engine uh, startup animation uh, as well as fixed in fixed the inboard spoilers uh, not deploying. Right, so the inboard inboard spoilers they were not deployed in certain cases. Uh, the PT button now engages touch and go. Right, that's the uh, I would say full throttle if I'm correct. And they fixed the bug where some uh, synoptic uh, switches were. Uh, in up, right? So in up simply means that they're uh, not operational and you can't use them. Then they made the data link switches, the ACPT, CA, NC, and the RGCT interactable. So you will now see that you can use these three buttons. And prior to this update, they were not, I would say, uh, having any function. The yaw damper switch is now also working and they fixed the bug where the pilots uh, were not visible. In some cases, when you use this add-on, I would say you we're not able to see the pilots, even if you included their uh, weight, it was not there. Then going to the view, they added the automatic uh, view management option. It's disabled by default, so keep that in mind. If you want to use it, you need to enable it. And there's the improved uh, fuel flow. Next, going to the FMC, there's the fixed coordinates inserting at wrong index when using the uplink, right? So you can, uh, let's say, specify the... Uh, coordinates from uh, to, to I would say kind of state create a baseline of where you are and they were not correctly uploaded and there was an issue where the exit waypoint of an airway is now instant as a direct if airway is not found during the uplink right so if the uplink is not there and there's for some reason there's an issue with uh, adding the uh, airway and it can't find the last waypoint which is also known as the exit waypoint of the airway uh, it will now work differently than prior to this update next for the fmc there's the support for the less common 11 character coordinate format and that's uh, this one and the tuned uh they tuned the lnav right the lnav is used for uh, using for example the gps for navigation purposes then the nd added the position trend vector and then they added some sounds they fixed the bug where some switches did not make any sound and they added some new sounds for nearly every switch and knob, right? So there were some sounds missing, uh, which was fixed by the previous bug, but there are also some new sounds and switches, uh, sounds being added. Textures have been improved and continuing with the ICAS, they fixed the ICAS messages sometimes not appearing when loading in cool and dark, right? Cool and dark simply means you start the aircraft from scratch. They added a new yaw damper ICAS message, as well as they added the airspeed low ICAS message, which are the warnings which will be shown to the pilots to inform them about certain situations. Then going to the other section, there's the salty livery now shows as a first livery in the livery list and the other, uh, there's an added view and payload manager. So pretty interesting fixes. So let's jump to the simulator and let's have a look how it looks like. So we're in the simulator in the 747. So let's have a look at a few of the options, right? So first of all, the PTT button, right? Which they discussed about to uh, for the go around. That one can be found over here, right? So it's on the left side of the pilot. Uh, I would say close to the uh, lids where you can also change the uh, float light as well as the map brightness and the display brightness, etc. right? Uh, that's where you can find this button. And then when you press it, it will go into the uh, correct uh, let's say location right or in the correct uh, standing then the rest of the options are i would say mainly in the uh, fms right so if you go to the uh, menu which is the i would say default option you can go to the salty option and inside the salty option you will find several options right you can see the sim brief integration but here you will also find the payload and that's where you can define the payload, right? So you can f define the actual cargo, the packs uh, aboard, right? Which stands for the passengers. And you can define the, uh, let's say, a weight of the cargo, the weight of the passengers. And then you can show the packs details, right? You can simply press this option and then you can see, okay, hey, maybe you've got a little bit more p passengers in zone A compared to C or D, 
and that's where you can find that information. Uh, the OFP re request, right? You can uh, send the request and then it's, I would say, sending, but it ne you need to specify a pilot ID because this has the dependency on SimBrief. Uh, so make uh, sure that you are, I would say, configuring SimBrief integration first correctly. Uh, the same thing is for the uh, boarding rate. The boarding rate, right? Normally it stands to real, which means that if you uh, press the uh, boarding option, it will start loading the passengers and it might take some time before it uh, loads the passengers. So the SimBrief integration again can be found here, right? You can uh, define the SimBrief ID. If you didn't specify any ID, you will get an error like me, like no pilot ID. But hey, that's it, right? So nothing too bad about that, but I would say something you need to be aware of. So make sure that you're configuring that correctly. Uh, all the other options are a little bit hard to show you because they will actually happen in say during flight But one thing to keep in mind although it might be a little bit hard to see because the display is a little bit too dark Is those icon uh, messages they will appear in these displays over here So here are the warning messages uh, Which will indicate that something goes really wrong right and then you need to take action on that uh, you can use the uh, other buttons, although they are still in inoperable normally uh, to switch between the different views. So keep that in mind. If you want to change the brightness, you can find those buttons over here, right? Uh, I already did it. I set them to maximum, but for some reason it still is, I would say, pretty dark. Uh, as you can see, it's not say, fully illuminated. Or well, you can see those uh, warning messages over here. And Talking about that, I said the message will appear here, but the warning messages will appear here, right? So this is the iCar display. So here you will see the warning messages. And you can see in this case that the fuel damper, I would say, is uh, still in the warning stage. You can see that there are some fuel pumps and some engine uh, failures, but that's normal because the engine hasn't started yet. Uh, so that's it, I would say, from uh, the latest update. Uh, the cool thing is that you also can control the options over here, right? But that was already, I would say, part of the previous update. So, I would say a lot of nice improvements in the Salty 4.7 uh, version. So keep in mind that you need to be Boeing 747. And then in addition to that, uh, download the Salty 747. I will put a download link in the uh, descriptive description of this video. But you can of course also download the A32 Annex uh, Download Manager or Installation Manager, which has an option to install the 747 uh, Salty version also. Here in this video, I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.